Amazing. We talked about this earlier today. You know, these flat earth society people are crazy. Global warming is real. Evolution is a real thing. And Eddie Bravo system works. And I want to take a look at this killer, killer match. One of the great matches in jiu-jitsu history. Eddie Bravo versus Hoyler Gracie, 11 years in the making. What a great match. Right from the beginning, Eddie looks to dive into half guard. People talk about his rubber guard, but he's got this vicious half guard with a beautiful lockdown, and he works a ton of stuff from it. But from this position, it's also a Hoyler Gracie dominant position, the knee slide. So for seven minutes, he's working that knee slide against Eddie Bravo, working it, working it, working it. Eddie gets the lockdown, and kaboom, full on extension of these legs and then extends the other leg up at the top. This is the electric chair submission. The thing is, you're not going to submit Hoyler Gracie with this. You're trying to rip his groin apart. That is as bad as it sounds. You're not going to get it, so what do you do? You come up on top controlling that far leg. Eddie was able to do this repeatedly. Look again. He uses the legs pendulum sideways, gets underneath his leg and uses to pop out the back and come up with both legs, splitting them right down the middle. A nasty, nasty submission. But again, you're not getting Hoyler. So all day long with this, he mastered four of these beautiful electric chair sweeps. You come up controlling that leg as well. What do you do? You pass. Eddie Bravo passed Hoyler Gracie's legendary guard. Now look at this. He slides into the back and this spine crank is nasty. Watch the leg. This leg is some, the, the, uh, showing you that somebody wants to get out quite desperately and look at his face. That is a spine crank. The spine is being ripped apart. But he was able to shake him off and make this match even more exciting. Hoyler Gracie doing his thing as well. So what does Eddie do? Right back to that electric chair. By now, Gracie's groin is nasty. And look at this right here. He spots a foot and when Eddie Bravo thinks about the vaporizer, Eddie Bravo's gonna hit the vaporizer. So that right there was foreshadowing, looking to go to the back. But here it is. The vaporizer gets it and it's, it, this is nasty. It is part calf crush, part leg lock and all terrible. You see the pressure inside here and look at this. There's going to be an S forming in that bone of this leg. It is nasty. This is a complex braid of flesh and bone. And look at this angle. Look at that on the knee right there. That is terrifying. That is going to hurt. He will not be walking today. 99.9% .9 of all human beings on earth would have tapped to that. The great Hoyler Gracie was not one of them. It ended in a draw. But Eddie Bravo is the f man.